What's good everybody? We're gonna be making a Jace type beat, an ambient Jace type beat. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Jace, or yeah, because I thought it was an I in the beginning. I've been listening to his music lately uh, a lot. Um, pretty much I've been on his dick, but yeah. Um, let's just get right into it. I like his beats. What, what type of beats he chooses? There's like the, the like the goofy. That's what they call them, goofy type beats, and then the the little ambient type beats. That's like my favorite ones. And like regalia and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty much this is like a uh, dempsum uh, type beat. So yeah. Let's get right into it. All right, for the first track, we pretty much have the chords, like the main chords. Pretty much got a like a like a piano from Expand. Uh, let me check what it is. A soft grand piano, but uh, yeah, let me play it for you guys and I'll explain. All right, for the first track, pretty much all I did was create an 11th chord and, you know, put like uh, bass notes down. But uh, let me show you guys how to make an 11th chord real quick. If we go, come up here, these are 11th chords. They're pretty much like six notes on top of each other. This is pretty much six notes on top of each other. To create an 11th chord is pretty easy. By the way, we are in D flat major and the BPM is in 133 BPM. The reason why it's it looks different and it's not in that scale but it is um it's because i changed the scale highlighting to mixolydian but mixolydian is gonna be in the uh, in the major it doesn't really matter what scale you choose um at the end of the day you're creating your your melody and whatever you want your melody to sound it's gonna make it sound like that you know what i mean it's all about sound selection and where how you make your melodies you know what i mean um but mixolydian is scale is pretty much like a, the mood of that scale is like beautiful and ambient and I just chose the root note to be uh, C sharp, but like I said, it's in D flat major. This is just the scale how it works, if that makes sense. So yeah, right here, this is pretty much, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So if we change the scale again, go to view, scale highlighting, we're gonna change it to major. This right here is major. These notes are major. This, this is the minor scale and this is the major scale. To create an 11 chord, all you pretty much do is go one, two, three, four, semitones one two three semitones one two three four semitones one two three semitones and then one two three semitones so yeah that's pretty much it for creating a 11 scale in a major so yeah obviously you can move the notes uh around that's what i did uh for the for this chord right here and now i'm gonna show you guys the minor scale real quick one two three right one two three four it's pretty much the opposite of a of the major scale. A major scale goes four, three, and then four, three, and then three again. Um, but this time it's three, four, three, four, and then three. So I'm gonna show you guys real, real quick again. So we don't count this root note shit. We go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's a triad. That's a triad chord right there. One, two, three. That's a seventh chord right there. One, two, three, four that's a ninth chord right there and one two three that's an eleventh chord and that's how i made the eleventh chord so if we come back down here i pretty much just skipped the like the second note of the eleventh chord pretty much the scale was these i deleted this went two semitones up i just moved around the notes uh until i felt like it felt good if that makes sense so yeah and then there's like some filler notes around this type of beat i just made it like the chords extremely long all the way to four bars uh, so it could sound soft and smooth and not crazy melodies going off it's just it's supposed to be ambient it's gonna be like long ass chords you know what i mean pretty much all i did was just copy and paste these chords and then brought this one down um two semitones <clears throat> with the filler notes and melee ideas i just pretty much just like moved a bunch of notes around until i liked something you know what i mean but yeah for the mixer part of it i just pretty much put vintage valhalla reverb and then fruity love filter all right we have the second track and i'm just gonna talk about it real quick it's just pretty much copied and paste chords i just added a few notes but yeah this is pretty much just copied and paste and then all i did was move this one down as you can see i just moved this one down right here and then this one down as well so yeah
And for the mixer on the pads, I pretty much just put Vintage Valhalla Reverb and some EQ. All right, for the next thing, I pretty much added a little bit of uh, bass to the chord, but uh, it pretty much goes away when the 808 hits, but it's not like a big, uh, big bass sound. It's just like, you know, for some texture, you know what I mean? But yeah, pretty much I just copied the chords and just like deleted all of them and just left the root note. All right, for the next track we have, we pretty much all I... We? Who's we? Who, who's we? All right, for the next track, pretty much all I did was a like synthy type of uh, instrument. I'll show you guys real quick. like an ambient ring to it it's a little texture um did put it down a lot in the beat but uh you can still kind of hear it but yeah with creating the melody i didn't really have a direction but i could say one thing like all i did was since this is like a textured type of uh like lead melody all i did was make like pretty much long notes and then we here at the end add its own like little variety for the mixer part of this i pretty much just added uh, some shaper box Canning, uh, kickstart, and yeah, I just added some fruity reverb and that's it. All right, for the next track, this is pretty much like the main melody. Um, yeah, let me show it to you guys real quick. But yeah, it's pretty simple. All I pretty much did was do some plug-in B type of vibes to the lead uh, for ambient. So I kept some space, you know, not have like crazy ass melodies going on. Um, for the mixer part of it, I pretty much did some uh, vintage Valhalla and some fruity delay, some imaging, ozone imaging, just to widen it. And yeah, and some EQ. All right, for the next track, uh, I'm gonna show you guys real quick, but this is pretty much a piano just stacked onto the top of the first track's piano, uh, just to add a little uh, texture to it. All right, for the mixer part of it, all I did was add a bunch of uh, Valhalla reverb. For the next track, pretty much, this is a added texture. Just added texture in the notes. I'll play it for you guys. But yeah, I didn't do anything crazy on the mixer for this. All I did was EQ some uh, high end and low end stuff out. And yeah, that's it. All right, for the next track, this is pretty much regalia type shit. You know what I mean? Like it looks complicated, but all you got to do is just play as the beat goes. I pretty much just press like I press space bar and then like click a bunch of notes. And if it didn't sound good, I unclick, pause, replay, pause, replay, pause, replay, pause, replay. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a lot of pausing and replaying and just putting a bunch of notes and then, you know, just copying and pasting and then like I copied and pasted this right here and right here. Let me show you guys the, the sound of it first before I explain everything, but yeah. Like I said, copy and paste this right here to here and then just move this note like up here and then found a, you know, you just got to find your own like, you know, melody or sound to it. And I usually just play these type of, uh, you know, orchestral vibes on like on like a third step. So as you can see, like these are all third steps. Like if I just zoom out, these are all quantized and third step and all that stuff. And then, you know, I just added a, like a little top end and, you know, made it swing back in pretty much copied and paste copied and paste and then added more like top line all right for the drums it's gonna be pretty uh, simple yet a little complicated for some people um but all i pretty much did was just for hi-hats just make two separate hi-hats that's all i did so if i zoom in closer i just made these hi-hats like play along with each other if that makes sense so if i solo this hold on let me solo this this is how it sounds like together.
yeah if we go to the first like hi-hat pretty much this is like my main hi-hat added this thing to like kind of slip and slide into this it's just pretty much this is copied and pasted to right here and for the other hi-hats like i said it's just playing off of each other but yeah they're just playing off of each other right here and they they just complement off of each other just find a good hi uh, two good hi-hats that complement off each other obviously you don't have to do this crap but i just did it just because so you know all right for the 808 i added two 808s they complement off of each other again but complementing off the 808s is pretty easy a lot of people use two 808s um you know it just makes it a little more variety than hit having the same 808 hit like crazy all the time like but yeah let me show you guys the first 808 yeah the 808 is pretty simple i just didn't want it to be hella busy but um you can see with the other 808s i just added a little more all right for extra stuff perks uh open hats and all that stuff pretty simple But yeah that's pretty much it we're making the melody and the drums and all that stuff as you can see like the regalia type part so with the arrangement it's pretty simple all i did was did a little intro right here eight bars this is eight bars and i added 12 bars this is like a pre-hook uh chorus right here pre-hook hook type thing and then the verse is 16 bars pretty much just copied and paste like the hook and then you know some of the some of the verse but deleted um the drums but yeah that's pretty much it um i hope you guys like subscribe this video is gonna be so long to fucking edit oh my god i messed up so many times you have no idea i did all it takes but <laughs> yeah um appreciate you guys i'll see you guys later please like subscribe if you guys have any ideas for videos bro let me know all right so i'll see you guys later peace